back to our channel Anvani Kumar Basics of Physics this is the right place to learn dear students in this video we are going to discuss about the another important short answer question in the chapter of thermodynamics so let's go for that question should be like this define two principal specific heats of a gas which is greater and why so children there are here define two principal specific heats so those are number 1 molar specific heat molar specific heat at constant pressure at constant pressure this is the first one that should be divided by cp and second one is molar specific heat at constant volume that is denoted by cv that is denoted by cv so how we can define them among these two which is greater and why it is greater let's discuss here now first thing molar specific heat molar specific heat that should be defined as cp is equals to 1 by n of here we will write dq by dt dq by dt clear molar specific heat at constant pressure can be defined as the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of 1 g molar gas by 1 degree celsius that should be called specific heat at constant pressure clear children here we have to supply the heat why to increase the temperature by 1 degree celsius of 1 g mole of gas clear so simply i am going to write amount of heat required to raise temperature of 1 g mole of gas by 1 degree celsius at constant pressure is called molar specific heat molar specific heat at constant molar specific heat constant pressure clear so that is the definition here molar specific heat at constant pressure clear children so now here the unit should be we are taking joule for mole kelvin joule for mole kelvin should be taken as the unit of cp and cv both okay look here now the same definition we have molar specific heat at constant volume that is also same thing here cv is equals to 1 by n of dq by dt so same definition we have to write the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of 1 g mole of gas by 1 degree celsius at constant volume at constant volume is called molar specific heat at constant volume this is the definition for cp and cv clear children what is mean by specific heat at constant volume the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of 1 g mole of gas by 1 degree celsius at constant volume is called molar specific heat at constant volume so this is about the definitions of cp and cv children now here among these two which is greater let's discuss cp is greater than cv or cv is greater than cv let's discuss so to understand that you must have idea about the first law of thermodynamics so when we have idea about the first law of thermodynamics you can easily estimate the which is greater among the cp and cv that is the point here you ought to remember clear so the first thing here the first law of thermodynamics is dq is equal to du plus dw what is dq amount of heat supplied what is du change in internal energy dw is amount of work done amount of work done so dear students 
among the CP and CV here CP is greater than CV molar specific heat at constant pressure is greater than the molar specific heat at constant volume why let's go for that here now at constant volume at constant volume molar specific heat at constant volume we will go for the dq is equals to du plus dw and dw can be written as dw nothing but here we will write pdv clear what it is dw is equals to what children pdv it is there so what is dv here dv is change in volume what it is change in volume got it children at constant volume at constant volume then obviously change in volume is zero change in volume is zero that's why here what it is dq is equals to du so thing is what it is at constant volume only internal energy increases internal energy increases there is no work done there is no work done clear so you can apply same thing here at constant molar specific heat cp or cv water may be at uh, cp it is now at constant pressure at constant pressure first law of thermodynamics at constant pressure so simply i am going to write here at constant pressure so we will write dqp dqp is equals to du plus dw and this is what here dqv children dqv it is okay dqp is equals to du plus dw you are taken so at constant pressure here we will write dqp is equals to du plus pdv du plus pdv it means that what at a constant pressure internal energy increases increases at the same time external work is going on external work done is there is there work is there that means in case of well we are when we are sending the heat at constant volume there is only in the energy increases but at constant pressure two things are happening one is in the energy increases and work is going to be performed so already we know that what it is simply here to understand this one here this is the one container that should be having some lead in that some water it is there some water it is there clear at constant volume at wa constant volume only the water is going to be heated but at constant pressure at constant pressure here water is going to be heated and the lid must be pushed out lid must be pushed out clear that means what pushed out means some work is going on and what is heated water heating is takes place and some work also going on got my point in a container some fluid is there and that is going to be heated due to that the fluid is heating means what inner energy increases that's why here what you have to say then after that the lid is going to be fly off or pushed off from the container so for the first time only heating of fluid next time two works are going work is going on what is lid must be pushed out and the water is going to be heated so to perform only this one we have to supply less heat and to perform this one we have to give the more amount of heat that's why simply how to remember here only one thing is happening here that is for that we have to supply the less amount of heat here two things are going on internal energy increases and work is done that's why we have to supply the more amount of heat we have to supply then obviously here the amount of heat supplied to this one that should be what we call here molar specific heat that's why here to perform only internal energy increases we have to supply the less amount of heat that means what molar specific heat at constant volume is less clear and we have to perform the both internal energy and work done we have to supply the more amount of heat 
that's why what you have to say absolutely here we have to supply the more amount of heat at constant pressure that's why here what you have to say children cp is greater than cv dear students this is about the definitions of molar specific at constant volume and molar specific at constant pressure and among these two why the cp is greater than cv so dear students if you can understand this one just like share comment the video my request is if any of your friends are there please suggest my channel to them thank you for watching